Ladies and gentlemen, we stand on the verge of a great Republican resurgence, a great Republican resurgence, and we are ready to take back Ohio. We are ready to reverse the reckless policies of Barack Obama and Ted Strickland and Lee Fisher and the other Democrats that have cost the state of Ohio better than 400,000 jobs, that have, that have seen uh, and delivered double-digit unemployment rates to the state of Ohio, the highest we have seen in better than a quarter century, and have piled mountains and mountains of unsustainable debt on the backs of our children and grandchildren. This, my friends, is not the hope and change that we were promised, and Ohioans will rise up on November 2nd and we will tell the nation that we have had enough. The American dream is to have your kids and your grandkids do better than you. And that's been the American tradition. Your grandparents did it for your parents, your parents did it for you. My parents did it for me and my brother and sister. The ultimate question, really, this November, here in Ohio, and in terms of who we send to Washington, D.C., is are we going to be able to continue that American dream? continue to have the ability to pass on to our kids and our grandkids a better world. Because Rob is right, America's greatest legacy is that our children will be better off than we have been, and we all know with the massive debt and the massive taxes and the massive government, it threatens our children's future. We will not stand for it. We will fight against it. So this is ground zero. Ohio is ground zero. There are not two more important races going on in this country. They want to steal a Senate seat, but what they really want to do is they want to lock down the governor's seat, and what they want to do is let their buddies, the union bosses, come into this state, unionize everybody, whether they're willing to be unionized or not, and to turn this state from red to blue, just like they have done in the state of Pennsylvania, because they know that if they can lock Ohio down, Barack Obama gets four more years after these few years that he has left in his presidency. I don't know about you, but we need to work against it because it threatens our American values, the ones we believe in as conservative Republicans. That is why we must win this election in 2010.